welcome everyone uh, today to our the launch of the book, two books on of, on Revelation, and it's a special uh, time for all of us. So, firstly, welcome. Uh, today we're going to launch uh, two books. Uh, firstly, uh, the Apocalypse, understanding the Book of Revelation by Andrew, Cole, and and secondly, uh, the seven unfolding e events in the Book of Revelation uh, by Joshua Tan. I got these two books here. Uh, just have a visual. Uh, visual of it here. Yeah. yeah, these are the two books uh, that that we are launching uh, this this evening. So thank you again uh, for joining us today. We have uh, both the authors uh, Andrew and Joshua to share with us their stories of how they write, as well as our special guest of honor, uh, Archbishop Moon Heng, who will give a short address. And later we will have uh, reviews uh, from Jason Fong and uh, uh, Pastor Jason Fong and Pastor uh, DSJ uh, Benjamin, who will be reviewing, reviewing in both English. Uh, in so it's a it's a wonderful time that we're going to have. And so thank you for joining us, uh, especially during this dinner time. We're going to spend some time uh, hearing uh, you know some wonderful stories you know how these books uh, came about okay firstly so i want to welcome our archbishop moon heng uh, moon heng uh, is a former arch uh, anglican archbishop of southeast asia and uh, he has been in ministry for 40 years and uh, currently he's uh, retired in Ipoh, but he's still an active servant of the lord a, a witness and a wonderful leader uh, to providing advice to our, our white uh, church uh, in in malaysia so uh Let's welcome uh, Archbishop Moon Hing as he gives the opening address. Good evening to all of you. Can you hear me? Yes, Bishop. Oh, you're muted. Okay. You have... Now we are in this pandemic days, and now today is the Freedom Day. <clears throat> Today began, begins the freedom. <coughs> it is also Labor Day. And the day now, no need scanning, uh, no need mask out, outdoor, no need SOP distancing outdoor. Uh, so a lot of hooray for everybody. If you travel overseas, no need to uh, test anymore. So this is a, a great day. Now the question is, after two years of lockdown, People begin to ask, where is God? Why all the prayers gone up to God and doesn't seem to have answered uh, the COVID? You know, not, not sure whether it's still around or just or, or have gone hiding for a while, or maybe come back again, we don't know. But we are talking about the book of Revelation. I'm sure you have received a lot of messages about end times, Revelation, and for and against revelation, for and against vaccine, for and against COVID, all sort of things going on. But we, when we look into the book of Revelation, we actually can see uh, two major themes that comes through. Uh, one is that we can see the love of God. Because first, the God is the one who loves us so much that he prepare a new Jerusalem for us. So at the beginning in the Garden of Eden, he prepared so beautifully, but man found his sin that was kicked out. And God continued to try to reach out to man and finally allow man to enter the new Jerusalem that was coming. So the day is coming. We look at it. It is God who, even though man sinful, walk away, make him heartbreak, you know, sad, uh, even like during the days of Jesus, uh, Peter renounced him three times uh, and the disciples fled all over. And sometimes in our area, in our time, we have sort of let down Jesus many, many times. Uh, but yet, uh, God loves us. So he loves us and he prepared a new Jerusalem for us in the book of Revelation. And secondly, he loves us so much so that he make us the bride. The church is the bride of Christ. And he is sanctifying us, making us holy, and let, letting us become so perfect. And day by day, until the day, we will be in this wedding banquet in heaven. The second thing that we can see in the in book of Revelation is the righteousness of God. 
the righteousness of God is telling us that as the world, the Bible already predicted to us that the world is getting darker and darker, just as the days after Ad, Adam and Eve had come out, and then the world get worse and worse and worse until Noah's days. Uh, so God had to do something, the flood came, and now the world has gone bad again, and worse and worse and worse. So it has already predicted that it's going to be very bad. So as the world is getting bad, God is holy. So he is doing his holy job, the job of cleansing and sanctifying. Those who believe in him, he sanctify and kept them aside. And he will have his light, just like the days of uh, uh, in the wilderness. You know, during the day, there will be the pillar of cloud. Night will be the pillar of fire, so that they will not uh, have any harm or protection. That is how God is working on. Um, so then, after the righteousness of, in the during righteousness of God, God is actually well, uh, telling us he, He's warning us and protecting us, all of us, and in saving and restoring His people for His kingdom. He's restoring every one of us for His kingdom. So there's a, and then. Who are these people who can enter his kingdom? When Jesus came, he came and, and took, uh, spoke to us and says, the first thing that Jesus preached was the kingdom of God is near. The kingdom of God is at hand. So when he came, he is concerned about the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God means I'm opening the door. Those who believe in him will become his disciples. They will be the one who can enter the kingdom. So the righteousness of God is so fair that Jesus cleanses of all the sins and then put us right with God. Now we are with God. So now the question is, where are we today? Where are we today? We now are entering into the post-COVID church. We are entering into the post-COVID church. We are, when you look at the post-COVID church, you look at the seven churches that John wrote to in, in the book of uh, Revelation, we are about a similar type. We are, the post-COVID church is something like There are seven churches, and like if Ephesus church. Ephesus church, they have forsaken the first love. Smyrna church, they thought they were poor, but actually they were rich. That means they were living in something else. They are certainly not living in the real self. Pergamon church, they allow Satan to have their tr the throne in the church. Thyatira church, they tolerated that woman Jezebel in the church. Sardis church, their reputation will be so alive. Reputation is alive, but actually they are dead. Philadelphia Church, they kept God's word. So they would be so much that God said they will be kept from the trial. Laodicea Church, they were neither hot or cold, they are lukewarm. So we are one of the seven churches in the post COVID churches. Now you realize after the post COVID time, the church, people who came back and somebody put the record, if it is a 30%, you are, have an average church, they'll come back, the attendance. If you are 40%, you are quite good. You are 50%, you are very good. You are 60%, you are very good. So very few churches have 100% come back for whatever reasons. So you know and I know. Now what is God doing today? Very quickly, I'll wind up. God is doing a sifting job. He's sifting the serious from the non-serious. So many people who call themselves Christians and disciples and followers, but they, he's sifting. Just like Jesus' days, he told them, everybody say, yes, I'm a follower. Finally, Jesus said, I'm going to the cross. So some of them left, the disciples left. And he's helping the church, you know, to return to the days, the early mission, the early days of the church. So to return to the Great Commission days. The church needs to start to evangelize. Your church is small, 30 people, 40 people, 50 people, 50% of the people. 
you that means God is telling you start evangelizing. When you were young, when you were small, when you were beginning, you do a lot of evangelism. How come you forgot? You start making disciples again. Last time you make disciples so seriously, today you become so comfortable. You start to baptize the people, bring them, bring them in, teach them, and then send them forth again. And God is actually strengthening and toughening the church to face the last days. The Bible in Mark, uh, Matthew 24, 13 says, the one who perseveres to the end will be saved. So these words is now jumping up again. The one who perseveres to the end will be saved. My last comment here, in Revelation 21, 3, and in the new heaven and new earth, God is actually telling us, hey, my friend, you know, behold, the dwelling place of God is with men. He will dwell with them and they will be his people and God himself will be with them as their God. So in Revelation 21, 3, God is actually saying again, hey, I am shifting the job, but I am so serious that I want to be dwelling with you or tabernacle with you. I want to be with you and to be your God and you will be my people. So I hope you enjoy these two books, the books that they have written, they have put them and, and entrusted uh, so much energy and time and prayer and seeking God. And I'm sure it will bless you. God bless all of you. Thank you so much. So we we'll, uh, thank you, Archbishop, uh, for uh, for gracing our occasion. You know, uh, you've been a great encouragement to all of us. In your leadership and uh, thank you for for giving such a uh, time to us. You know, to as we encourage our two brothers to to write more as we launch their book uh, this this afternoon or this evening. Okay, so uh, we have now. Uh, going to have a book review uh, by Pastor Jason Fong and Jason Fong has been serving God in full-time ministry for more than 30 years and after leaving JKR when he was uh, 30 years old the Lord has used him to preach and teach his word transdenominationally and in some 25 countries so let's, let me pass this time to Pastor Jason Fong uh, Thank you very much uh, Reverend Malok uh, first of all, good evening to everybody. Uh, it's wonderful to be able to join this uh, Zoom meeting uh, from Selangor, uh, Malaysia. I think we have people from different, different parts of the world. It is my joy and my privilege. Thank you to Dr. Andrew Koh uh, for inviting me. And uh, among all our brothers and sisters here, I think we have several ministers of the gospel and uh, servants of God. And uh, it's right only that we give them honor. Yeah, Archbishop uh, Ng Woon Hin uh, of the Anglican churches. Uh, and then also uh, certain people like Pastor Benjamin and Pastor Joshua. And of course, uh, Pastor Ng Walok himself as the host. Uh -huh. Now, um, before we, uh, or rather, I would like to start uh, by reviewing the book, uh, by talking about the author, the writer. I think it is not, uh, not uh, it's impossible uh, to talk about uh, the book without talking about the writer. Uh, Dr. Andrew Cole is a personal friend and uh, we have met maybe more than 20 years ago in the course of my scripture union ministry. Now, uh, he's, uh, he's a medical doctor and he also has pursued theological uh, training. The COVID, the last two and a half years of COVID uh, roughly has affected every one of us. Many people are affected negatively actually and a handful may be affected positively. And uh, I think that uh, Dr. Andrew Cole stands out as one who has been affected positively by this uh, COVID. Because uh, from my knowledge, out of these two and a half years of COVID uh, uh, challenges and hardship, uh, Dr. Andrew has churned out more than 30 books, you know, uh, in the last, uh, last uh, two years plus. Yeah. And I think that is 
a wonderful and amazing thing. And it's an example for all of us, actually, that even as we press on with, uh, with the hardship and difficulty and challenges around us, uh, it's a shining example that we can follow, uh, how it can actually motivate us to be productive. And uh, Dr. Andrew has set himself a very tall order, even as he wrote this book. It is like a three in one book, a three in one book. It is an expository commentary. It is a Bible study guide, as well as a daily devotional material. And I think this is a wonderful combination of this. Uh, it's, a, it's a three in one book. I, I like his approach, bold and refreshing. And uh, he somehow has synchronized uh, the 22 chapters of his book with the 22 chapters in the book of Revelation. Yeah, in the book of Revelation. And I like to just uh, say that uh, the application and the prayer section, which you find in every chapter of, uh, of his book, is actually something that will be able to bring the, the academic study of the book something that will bring it to our heart and touch us. I just want to read a little bit yeah, uh, from, his, uh, from one, one of his chapter, uh, an application. It says here, the glorified Christ appeared to John in the island of Patmos and commissioned him to write the book of Revelation. Today, today you can visit the island of Patmos as a tourist. And of course, today, many of us may have already visited the seven churches yeah, uh, as a site tour when we go to Turkey. Yeah? So uh, the Bible is about real places, real people, and real events. Now, that is a wonderful thought, I think, because many people, when we read the Bible, because of our familiarity, it may become like a fairy tale. We think that it's just a story that cannot connect with us. Yeah. Christ is God manifest in the flesh. And whoever believes in him will be saved. Just like what Reverend uh, Ngunhin has challenged us, that we continue with our ministry of evangelism and also discipleship. And also what I want to read uh, his prayer. Uh, the, the prayer that is in one of his chapters. He says, Heavenly Father, I pray that the anointing of the Holy Spirit to unveil the book of Revelation. And the prayer go on to say, help us to interpret, help us to understand, help us to apply the open truth of your word. And we pray that our eyes be open. We pray that our ears be open. We pray that our hearts be open and also our spirit to be open. And this is, I think, uh, very important. Even as we uh, encourage all of us to pick up the book, may this book continue to challenge us, especially in these difficult times, yeah? To challenge us and to stimulate our, our spirit, to stir our spirit in anticipation of the parousia, yeah? We can respond in so many ways, even as we continue uh, on, uh, to march on in this pandemic, but continue on to keep our eyes on Jesus Christ. And just like uh, uh, the book say, come Lord Jesus, yeah. come Lord Jesus, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. So this is our prayer, and this book launch will be a wonderful time to stimulate us and, encouragement, uh, and, and encourage us in that direction. Yeah. So all the best, uh, uh, even to Dr. Andrew Crew and also to the other book, uh, where Pastor Josh, Joshua will be able to introduce us. Yeah, God bless you. God bless okay, you. Thank you, uh, Pastor Jason uh, Fong, for review, reviewing this book. And this is a book that he's talking about, Apocalypse, uh, you know, written by uh, Dr. An Andrew Cole. Okay, and so it's a wonderful book. Uh, and so thank you for, uh, re, uh, you know, just highlighting this book uh, to all of us. Okay. Now, next we have uh, Pastor uh, G S J Benjamin. And uh, Benjamin is a retired uh, senior banker, and he has a 40 years ministry experience and served as principal teacher 
of, an, of the Apostolic Bible Institute of Malaysia. Presently, he ministers as he, an evangelist, uh, pastor and a Bible teacher in the body of Christ under the caption, Apostolic Faith uh, Ministry. And so he will uh, review the book by uh, Joshua Tan, The Seven Unfolding Event in the Book of Revelation. Over to you, uh, Benjamin. Yeah, thank you very much for the opportunity and grace given by uh, the committee. I indeed take it as a privilege. Now, uh, just to say to Pastor Joshua Shabas for your uh, insights of your books, which I have read and I'm continuously reading some of the headings of the eschatological views. And uh, in fact, uh, I would say, uh, after reading through this book, his book, many times, in fact, I read the book uh, almost uh, seven times and uh, more, because he has uh, a title which is eschatological in prophetic understanding and insight. Now, after going through all that seven uh, chapters and 47 pages, I discovered that um, uh, we need to study the book uh, together with the Bible uh, so that we can browse through and uh, get a biblical insight and a very good dimensional in the spiritual uh, side of the view. Secondly, I read through his headings. All his headings are entitled eschatological. Uh, meaning is a biblical prophetic uh, information, a lot of uh, uh, deep truth in it. Uh, you know, the subject on the rapture, the subject on the Antichrist, uh, seven years uh, tribulation, the second coming of Christ. He cut the line into two categories. He explains a lot about uh, the rapture, uh, and he has not made any attempt to debate on the position of. He has his own view. He has covered that in his book uh, with different perspective. His presentation is uh, more to free trip uh, positional uh, uh, of his uh, understanding, which he says is the uh, counsel from God himself gave to him. The writings of certain scholars uh, have some influence on him by going through some of the pages that I went through. I also felt that Pastor Joshua is a strong believer in the pre trip uh, rapture positional in uh, page uh, eight of his book. He also enlightened on the pre positional view, uh, explaining the uh, view in a very uh, theological uh, terms and uh, you know, uh, understanding. He also explains uh, a lot of uh, things on uh, some technical uh, package of understanding, meaning theological, uh, those who are in seminaries or those who are students of the prophecy or the book related, uh, they will be able to understand that clearly. If not, uh, for a general reader, I think it will be a, a difficult task because you need to study it. You really have to go through a proper text interpretation in Greek and Hebrew, so as you can magnify the thought in a biblical perspective. I also see Pastor Joshua uh, has handled the uh, rapture position of the queen uh, in terms of imminency uh, view. He also explains that. And what I'm seeing from all his views uh, treasured with certain knowledge. Uh, you know, concise overviews of the Bible uh, prophecy, uh, which means it's a handy book to go for fast track of understanding on certain subjects of certain things. Even I myself, when I went through all these seven chapters, I took every heading a book uh, by itself because uh, his books are so rich with uh, so many uh, inflow of knowledge, uh, understanding. But uh, what I can see is for a layman to understand, it will be a, a problem for reading. You need to keep the Bible, uh, the book of Revelation and the book of Daniel, uh, the book of Ezekiel, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, correlate prophetic uh, books need to be addressed together. I also see that the treasury of his knowledge is very concise uh, of a certain overviews. Uh, he didn't go deep into any chapters. Uh, I have already told him personally that he can do a second edition on that. 
he can uh, you know uh, expand his uh, theological understanding with uh, you know a ground of rules of uh, interpretation and all that so i felt that uh, his books is uh, enlightening uh, rich with uh, you know, uh, information i also felt that uh, this book will be good for those who are very much interested in the book of prophecy uh, it is not an inspirational book uh, just to say because if you read an inspirational book you can read it in one hour two hours this is only 47 pages it took me an, at least uh, many hours to really go into every chapters and verses so that it is quite clear uh, lastly uh, most key titles of his chapters uh, very uh, important prophetic issues have been uh, open to us. Uh, some are very much for interpretation and the second coming and so forth. Uh, with this, I hope uh, you know this will be a, a beginning for those who are uh, want to explore to understand the question. I would encourage Pastor Joshua's book to go into. Uh, the avenue for reading and understanding. Uh, thank you, Reverend. So this is a book. Ah, this is a book. Okay. This is the book. Uh, the final version of the book, um, which you can buy from uh, from by sending me an email. You can also buy from Lazada and Shopee. The link has been is in the chat box. Huh? The, the link is in the chat box. Uh, this is this book has taken me a long time. It's not an easy book to write. It's quite it's quite a difficult book. I remember when I was in Bible college, a very prominent Bible scholar uh, came to give a seminar. His name is uh, uh, Don. What's the name? His name is uh, Don Sandon. Don Carson, Don Carson. His name is Don Carson. He came to uh, on a weekend, not give a seminar on a weekend. Uh, he was telling me that he has 30 over books now, 30 over books. So after the seminar, I approached him. I said, uh, Dr. Don Carson, how, how can you write 30 books? How can you write so many books? Uh, you, 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 you have no time to sleep or rest or whatever. So Don Carson looked at me. At the other time I'm quite young. I said, young man, uh, don't tell me you have no time. You have 24 hours a day. Um, there's plenty of things you can do in 24 hours. So there was a very inspiring moment with him. Uh, so uh, finally I managed to write 30 books. Uh, and, also published 30 books. If any one of you want any of the 30 books, you let me know, send me an email. I will be most happy to send you uh, free of charge. I'm going to stop screen sharing. I, I finished my presentation. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Andrew Ko. Uh, I know inspiring. Uh, uh, all of us, you know, your 30 books uh, written over the pandemic. Uh, I think it's ideologies, you know, but uh, God has a wave, you know, like, like a big wave and you just read the wave and able to write this book. So again, uh, this uh, book, uh, uh, Apocalypse, you know, Apocalypse, Understanding the Book of Revelation uh, is now, uh, we're logging it today. Next, you want to hear from uh, the second author, uh, Pastor Joshua Tan, and uh, he, he will be uh, sharing about his book, The Seven Unfolding Events in the Book of... In this, all right, whatever trip you are in, I convinced that we have this free trip up. Yeah? Whether you are pre-trip, post-trip, mid-trip, we have this free trip up. And uh, I would like to say that, you know, no matter which trip we are taking, it doesn't matter because uh, it will not affect our salvation. Okay, It will not affect our salvation. But the most important thing is, uh, I had I, I this pre trip position is because we need to prepare ourselves as uh, Pastor Benjamin said just now very clearly that it is an imminent uh, uh, possibility that Jesus can come at any time. So we need to prepare ourselves for uh, like this. Uh, so Jason Fong say you know to prepare for his rapture or to for his rapture to take the church back to him as in John fourteen one to three. 
All right. So I will not go into it uh, any more deeper, but I would like to say that if for those of you who like uh, end time study, eschatology, this is the book for you because uh, it is a plain, plain sense. All right. It is very plain right, writing, but it's biblically centered. And um, it is only uh, 47 pages, but it's as uh, Benjamin said, it is very concise and you will need many hours to digest and understand it. But I believe with the Holy Spirit, they can do it, all right? Okay, now the book can be found, can be found in uh, Lazada and Shopee, all right? And um, I would like to end this by saying that, you know, uh, in, this, in this last phase, all right, we need to prepare ourselves. We need to prepare ourselves, wash and pray, wash and pray for our, our redemption draw nigh. So let us continue to prepare ourselves, to get ready for his coming, right? Uh, thank you very much. And I get back, give back the time to Reverend Umalo. Over to you, Reverend. Okay. Thank you, uh, uh, you know, we are also, you know, really happy. Uh, today we are able to come and uh, witness Again, thank everyone uh, who participated, uh, Bishop Moon Heng uh, for gracing our occasion, uh, Master Jason Fong, Benjamin for doing the reviews as well, as well two authors, uh, Dr. Andrew Ko and uh, Pastor uh, Joshua Tan for sharing with us uh, these books. Okay? So it's now my honor to launch uh, both of these books. Firstly, uh, to launch the book Apocalypse, Understanding the Book of Revelation by Dr. Andrew Ko, and secondly, the seven unfolding events in the book of Revelation by Pastor uh, Joshua Tan. Okay, so that's over. So we got two new books, uh, you know, by our local authors uh, in the market. And uh, now,